The purpose of this video is to help remind everyone how the virtual learning days that have been adopted by the school division will look for our students. October 8th and November 6th, which are already scheduled days off for students, will be used to bank two full instructional days for the 18-19 school year. In advance, of these days, students will be assigned virtual learning experiences which they may complete on the day off or over a designated 10-day window of time. Providing designated windows for the virtual learning experiences will allow flexibility for students and families. Furthermore, by designating the days ahead of the school year, we are able to ensure that the virtual learning opportunities provided to students are aligned to each content area's pacing and are connected to the classroom learning that is already happening. It is important to note that all of these lessons that are developed at the secondary level can be used by teachers or just used as examples of how teachers might build their own lessons. The virtual learning day examples that have been prepared by secondary teaching and learning will be located in the teaching and learning Schoology curriculum group resources. Each group resource area will have a folder at the top titled virtual learning day. Teachers should review these lessons and the options carefully. Work with their school administrators to decide the 10-day window that's appropriate for their students based on their curriculum pacing. In order to ensure access to the virtual learning day materials, it's important that teachers have joined their curriculum groups. In the resource section in each of those groups, they will find these virtual learning day activities. They should locate uh, Schoology-based activities and non-Schoology-based activities and even some offline options for their students to complete. The VBCPS Schoology support site has detailed instructions on how to copy any district content into Schoology courses if uh, teachers are in fact delivering this material via Schoology, but again that is not required. For instructions on how to copy district content, including items located in the virtual learning day folders into your courses or sandbox, click on the Schoology support button at the bottom of the Schoology page. When visiting the Schoology support site, notice that we do have a, a site specifically for VBCPS Schoology help. The instructional staff section will include a lot of resources for our staff, including how to copy district content into courses. Additional questions regarding the setup of any Google Drive assignments or completion rule workflows should be directed to the ITSs. Questions regarding content should be directed to your curriculum team. Thank you and I hope this clears up any questions you might have on the Virtual Learning Day experiences.